RB, with the Stage 32 happy writers, are you, you're seeing them pitch, right, or, or no? The, the way it works is we work with over 300 executives in Hollywood. They're all, again, producers, uh, agents, managers, directors of development, people making films or people representing screenwriters. They are on one side of the computer screen and you are on the other and you could be anywhere in the world and it's done via Skype and you have eight minutes, okay? And you get to, we, we recommend that for about four of those minutes, you pitch your script, you know, that you are concise and that you get it out in four minutes. And that leaves you four minutes to speak with the executive. And at that point, the exe one or two things happens, okay? Well, the executive is gonna, you know, have a conversation with you. Why did you decide to write this? Why is this story personal, personal to you? Uh, how long have you been writing? What else have you done? That, those kinds of questions. At that point, at the end of the eight minutes, the, uh, executive can either request the script or he'll explain why he, he doesn't feel like he wants to read the material, okay? And if he does accept the material, he will, uh, you know, once he's done reading it, give feedback to Joey who runs that division of Stage 32 as to what the next steps are. Or he may contact the writer directly and say, you know, I want to read something else or can we get on the phone or whatever. So it's immediate access right to that executive. And most of these executives work for, you know, bigger management firms, bigger production companies who most have a no unsolicited material rule. So you can't query them anyway. Um, so this breaks down that barrier. What are some of the things you've seen, though, writers do? I mean, you get to watch their Skype. Some, yeah, I've so, seen uh -huh. them, but I've also mm -hmm. been, you know, I've also been at, you know, I've spoken at other pitch fests and things of that nature, so I get to see a lot of pitching. And I, we also teach some classes on pitching, so yeah. Well, so we know writers are, are naturally more sort of intense and nervous, maybe, than, yeah. than other creatives. Sure. What are some of the pros and cons you see when they go up in front of these individuals, or even from their own home Skyping? Well, I think, that, you know, the biggest thing is they don't know the story. You know, I mean, you know, that's the biggest problem. Or they get um, too far into the story sometimes. Like in other words, you know, you're, you have four minutes more or less. I mean, you have eight, but you know, you want to leave time to have a conversation. So they'll get it too, more, too far into the secondary characters or too far into, you know, small plot points, okay? They don't follow the arc of the main character and what happens there. One of the best pieces of advice I, I had when I was pitching um, was take me through the middle of the third act. You know, give me your main character and take me to the, to, to the middle of the third act. I don't want to know the ending. And some, not everybody's like this. Some people want to know the ending. I don't want to know the ending. I want you to take me to a point where I am so desperate to know the ending that I have to read the script, okay? And, you know, so everybody has their own ways of doing things. Some people like when you say, you know, it's Jaws meets, you know, Spaceballs. And, you know, they like that kind of thing. As a starter, some people just like you to get right into the story. Um, but the, the idea is to be concise, to get your main, the main arc out, and to leave them wanting a little bit more at the end. So no more TMI, not too much information, and tease them. Tease them enough, yeah. I mean, some people will say, you know, I, you know, well, tell me what happens, you know, but, I, but mo in my experience, I've seen it much more that, you know, leave me with a little something like, yeah, like, you know, I want to read it now. Like, right, you know, right. I want to know what the heck happens, you know, mm -hmm. know your log line, know your main character, know your arcs, know your first act break because your first act break matters because if you're doing it correctly and know your inciting incident, of course, and what propels, you know, your main character off on his journey. Um, what does that journey entail? And ultimately what is the goal? Believe them wondering if they get there or maybe even how they get there at the end, you know.